You all have probably fallen in love with someone. You like their personality and everything about them. What would you do if somebody talked ill about your loved ones and spread rumors? Would you leave the person you love or continue to defend them? Let's see what a young schoolboy does in this situation. Let's go. Anime begins with a guy named Kashima Rudo. He is an average introverted student who is 16 years old. He hasn't dated a single girl and has very few friends. He likes a girl named Shurikawa, who is very beautiful and liked by everyone. Kashima likes her, but he has no hope of dating her. Kashima is in his classroom and he looks at Shurikawa. He overhears some guys talking ill about her and wonders what the truth is. Shurikawa comes close to him and borrows a pencil, which makes Kashima fall in love with her. Kashima eats food with his two friends, Aikai and Nish, and they talk about their exams. They come to an agreement that the one with the best marks will have to follow one command of the person with the worst marks. Kashima scores the best, and his friends give him a dare. He has to confess his feelings to the girl he likes. Aikai and Nishi believe that he will get pathetically rejected if he confesses his feelings to anyone. Kashima values his friends and thinks that confessing to Shurikawa will be the right choice. Instead of blindly following her, he can just get rejected and move on with his life. Kashima leaves a letter in her locker inviting her to visit him, but he doesn't expect her to come. Surprisingly, Shurikawa arrives to visit him. Kashima is really awkward in front of her, but he gathers enough courage to confess his feelings to her. Shurikawa accepts the offer and tells him that they can go on a date. She was single at the time and thought she could give Kashima a shot. Kashima can't believe that Shurikawa is now his girlfriend. Shurikawa asks Kashima to walk home with her after school, and Kashima agrees. As they walk home, Shurikawa asks Kashima if they have talked before. Kashima doesn't want to be a creep, so he lies and says they have never talked to each other. Kashima never thought he would date Shurikawa. He asks her why she accepted him, and she tells him that she likes him a little bit. Kashima had heard rumors that Shurikawa changed boyfriends every 2 minus 3 months and dumped each one of them, but this wasn't true. Shurikawa doesn't like unhygienic guys. She explains that she is very faithful to her partner, rejects any proposal that comes her way, and tries her best to keep them with her, but she always gets dumped. Shurikawa likes Kashima a little bit, but she believes that if they spend some time together, she will start to really like him. They get inside the train, and Shurikawa's station arrives. Kashima decides to drop her off at her home. Shurikawa tells Kashima that her mom and dad aren't home and invites him over. Kashima goes inside Shurikawa's room, and he feels really awkward. Shurikawa enters the room and shows Kashima her lingerie. Kashima is standing, and Shurikawa tells him to sit down. The idea of sitting with a girl on her bed freaks out Kashima. Suddenly, Shurikawa starts to undress herself and tells Kashima to get ready for sex. Kashima gets really awkward as it's too soon. Shurikawa tells Kashima that she offers sex to her boyfriend because that's all boys want. She wants to keep her boyfriend happy and satisfied so they won't look for other girls. She is too scared to lose her partner, so she tries to keep him satisfied. Kashima cannot make a choice. He wants to have sex with Shurikawa, but he doesn't want to take advantage of her. Kashima tells her that he wants their relationship to mean something. He wants to date her for the long term and tells her that having sex at that time is too soon. As they walk together, Shurikawa tells Kashima that he is really kind and she has never dated such a kind guy. Kashima tells her that he has never dated anyone and doesn't have any female friends, so she shouldn't worry about losing him. Everything is perfect. However, Kashima does regret rejecting the sex offer. Kashima is walking toward the school when he receives a text from Shurikawa. She tells him that she overslept and was late for school. Kashima advises her to hurry to the station so she can make it to school on time. Later, Kashima tells Aikai and Nishi that Shurikawa is now his girlfriend. He also shares with them the story of visiting her house. They ask him if he had sex with her, to which Kashima replies with a firm no. Aikai and Nishi think he is naive because he is incredibly nerdy and might not have another chance with a girl. Kashima reassures them that he will continue dating her for a while, and he believes he will have several opportunities for intimacy. His friends warn him that Shurikawa might have been using him for just one night and might never offer intimacy again. Kashima goes to class and talks to Shurikawa, but he notices a girl named Nicole staring at him, which makes him nervous. Shurikawa starts to engage with Kashima more frequently, and he asks her to keep their relationship a secret. However, Shurikawa confesses that she told Nicole about their relationship since she is her best friend. In return, Kashima also reveals his relationship with Shurikawa to his friends, so they are even. Kashima suggests 
that they shouldn't talk with each other in school, preferring to converse outside of school, perhaps on weekends. He is essentially inviting her for a date, and she understands this, accepting the offer. They both agree on having a date on the coming Saturday. At home, Shurikawa calls Kashima and asks where he plans to take her for the date. Kashima is uncertain about the venue and suggests going to the movies but doesn't know which movie they should watch together. Shurikawa questions why he asked her out for a date, and Kashima explains that he wants to get to know her better and understand her interests. Shurikawa suggests they do something that she enjoys on their date. The next day, we find them at a shopping mall, and Kashima can't help but admire how beautiful she looks. After shopping, Shurikawa asks Kashima if the date is boring for her, to which Kashima replies with a no. He genuinely enjoyed the date, as it allowed him to see how Shurikawa behaves outside of school and discover her interests. He tells Shurikawa that seeing her happy made him happy. Shurikawa receives a call and informs someone that she is currently with Kashima, causing him to worry about whether her friend accepts him. Later, back at home, Shurikawa leaves Kashima's message unread, leading him to wonder if she has another boyfriend and if she is just using him. He also observes Shurikawa talking with other boys in school and gets quite worried. Shurikawa asks Kashima to meet her in the evening, and he expects a breakup but is pleasantly surprised. She presents matching cell phone covers for both of them and explains that she was playing games while waiting in line, so she couldn't respond to his message. Shurikawa thought it would be fun to have matching cell phone covers, and Kashima is genuinely delighted. Instead of breaking up, she reveals that she got the covers for them to celebrate their one-week anniversary. Kashima shares his knowledge about cars with Shurikawa, who tries to connect with his interests. She tells Kashima about her parents, who fell in love at a young age but later divorced. She expresses her desire to gain as much experience as she can while still being a kid at heart. Kashima expresses his admiration for her personality and how she makes the most of her age. He shares a personal story about being rejected by a girl named Kiro's Maria, which led to a loss of confidence when talking to girls. Back at home, Shurikawa talks with Nicole, who advises her to put in the effort to impress Kashima. Shurikawa confides in Nicole that she has genuinely started to like Kashima. The next day, a new student is introduced to the class, and it turns out to be Kuro's Maria. As Kuro's joins the same class as Kashima, Kashima becomes awkward as he still remembers how she rejected him. The teacher places her right beside him. She notices Kashima and asks him to be friends with her, and Kashima agrees to it. Kashima is afraid that his past with Kuro's might be revealed, so he decides not to get too close to her. As he walks out of the class, Nicole visits him and tells him that Shurikawa's birthday is coming next week. Kashima asks Nicole what Shurikawa likes because he wants to gift her something to her liking. Nicole agrees to help and sits with him. Meanwhile, someone takes a picture of Nicole and Kashima sitting together. Kashima meets Shurikawa at the train station and is surprised to see her. She shows the picture of him sitting with Nicole and asks him if he went on a date with her. He clears up the misunderstanding by telling what actually happened between them, and Shurikawa is relieved. She moves toward the school, and Kashima wonders if she was jealous. On the day of Shurikawa's birthday, Kashima takes her on a bubble tea date as it is her favorite. Nicole told him that Shurikawa liked bubble tea, so Kashima did his research on bubble tea flavors and found the best bubble tea. Shurikawa was very happy that Kashima tried so hard to impress her. As they walk together, Shurikawa offers her bubble tea to Kashima, and he agrees to take it. This is like an indirect kiss, and Kashima becomes shy. Kashima wanted Shurikawa to pick a birthday present by herself, but he only had 1,000 yen left after the bubble tea date. Shurikawa laughs and takes the paper as her gift. This was the paper where Kashima wrote down about his bubble tea research. The date ends perfectly, and Kashima goes to school the next day where he hears rumors about Shurikawa. Everyone was talking about how nasty she is. She always makes the guy pay for dates and changes boyfriends every two months. Kashima knows that it isn't true and wonders who spread those rumors. Nicole goes to visit Kashima and tells him about the rumors, but he already knew about it. Kashima is in his classroom, and Kuros talks to him. She tells him that she regrets rejecting him and wants to give him a chance, but Kashima tells her that he has a girlfriend now. Kuros asks him who his girlfriend is, but Kashima doesn't tell her. As Kashima walks in the hallway, he sees a guy proposing to Shurikawa, and Shurikawa rejects him. She tells the guy that she has a boyfriend but refuses to reveal who he is. The boy asks her if she is embarrassed of her boyfriend, but she tells him that she is proud of him. She likes him very much. She tells the guy that she doesn't want to reveal her boyfriend's identity because her boyfriend wants to keep it a secret, but she has no problem in revealing it. Kashima hears this and becomes very happy. 
He thought that Shurikawa was embarrassed about their relationship, but that wasn't the case. In the classroom, Kuros talks about Shurikawa's rumors with Kashima, and Kashima disagrees with whatever she said. He argues with her and reveals that he is Shurikawa's boyfriend in front of the whole class. As Kashima reveals his relationship with Shurikawa in front of Kuros and the others, everyone becomes surprised. They now start to think that the rumors about Shurikawa are fake because she is dating a guy like Kashima, who isn't necessarily attractive or popular. Kuros becomes really upset and runs away. Kashima follows her and finds out that she was the one spreading rumors about Shurikawa. Shurikawa was Kuros's fraternal twin sister, and she was jealous of Shurikawa. Kashima asks her why they have different last names, where Kuros tells him that her parents got divorced, and she took her mom's last name. She explains how attractive and talented Shurikawa was, even as a kid, and everyone gave their attention to her while no one cared about Kuros. Kuros realized that she needed to change herself if she wanted to get some attention from other people, so she started being more like Shurikawa, but she still couldn't compete with her. Kashima tries to relate with her by saying he has a hard time representing himself in front of people as well. He tells Kuros that they shouldn't change themselves as it would only be painful to bear the stress. Kuros asks Kashima to go away, and Kashima does so. Nicole praises Kashima for making such a bold move and walks away. Kuros was also really happy that Kashima revealed his relationship with her to everyone. She no longer has to hide it now. Kashima tells her that he never believed in those rumors, and this made Shurikawa really happy. Meanwhile, Kuros was developing feelings for Kashima, but she didn't like it. The next day, Kashima was worried if everyone would look at him the wrong way as he revealed his relationship with Shurikawa, but he was wrong. No one cared about whom he dated, and this really surprised him. Kashima talks with Shurikawa and tells her about his interests. He tells her that he likes looking at live streams of his video games, and Shurikawa takes an interest in it. Later, Kashima meets his friends and tells them that he wants to kiss Shurikawa. His friends make fun of him and tell him that he has no chance to kiss her. We see Kashima planning his next date with Shurikawa. Since kissing was not possible, Kashima thinks about holding hands with her instead. He and his friends made a perfect plan to do this. The date begins, and Kashima decides to ask Shurikawa for a boat ride, but she prepared food for him. He sits down for lunch with her before the boat ride. Shurikawa worked really hard to prepare the food, and Kashima was really happy. He eats the food and enjoys it very much. Kashima then offers a boat ride to Shurikawa, and she accepts it. As he planned it, Shurikawa slips on the port, and Kashima attempts to hold her hand, but he fails, and Shurikawa lands on the boat. They finish their ride, and Shurikawa suggests going home, but Kashima had a serious look on his face. Shurikawa thought that Kashima was trying to break up with her, but Kashima tells her that he would never break up with her and suggests taking another boat ride. This time, Kashima gets on the boat first and asks for Shurikawa's hand. She leans her hand forward, and he holds it. Later on, Shurikawa expresses her happiness as she got an opportunity to hold hands with Kashima. Kashima was surprised by such a response and tells her that he wanted to hold her hand for a long time now. Shurikawa stands up and kisses Kashima by surprise. The second boat ride finishes, and they walk towards their home together. Meanwhile, Kuros was madly in love with Kashima, and she decides to steal him from Shurikawa. We see Kashima and Shurikawa playing some kind of game together. To them, each other's presence was more fun than the game itself, and they were really having the moment of their life. We see Kashima and Shurikawa walking together, and Shurikawa reminds him that their one-month anniversary is arriving. It was a special day for them, and Shurikawa planned a beach date for each other. We see Shurikawa thanking Kashima. She got really good grades in her exam, and Kashima scored even better. Kashima's friends also did really well on their exams, and they thanked Kashima for it. Now, everyone could enjoy their summer vacation without worrying about their studies. Kuros approaches Kashima and asks him to teach English to her. Kashima tells her that he won't be free at the given time, so he cannot do it. Kuros persists and asks him to teach math to her after the summer vacation begins, where Kashima tells her that he isn't good at math. Kuros wanted to spend some time with Kashima, but it didn't work out in her favor. She asks for Kashima's line ID, and Kashima gives it to her. As Kashima waits for Shurikawa to arrive, he gets a text from Kuros asking him to help her with study, but he tells her that he isn't free, and Shurikawa arrives there. They begin their date, and Shurikawa gets on a swimsuit, and Kashima thinks she looks really beautiful in it. Kashima and Shurikawa spend some time on the beach and decide to book a room for the night. If they stayed in the same room, it would be cheaper for both of them. Kashima wasn't sure what they should do, but Shurikawa tells him to take a single room for both of them. Shurikawa goes to take a bath, and Kashima is worried. 
He doesn't know how he should react when he is in the same room with Shurikawa. Shurikawa returns from her bath, and Kashima goes to take a bath. Kashima and Shurikawa are having their meal, and Kashima finds Shurikawa really cute. He tells Shurikawa that she is looking like a kid and was looking really cute. Shurikawa becomes shy hearing this, and they finish their meal. They had two separate beds, and they lie down trying to fall asleep. But Kashima isn't able to fall asleep with Shurikawa beside him. Shurikawa offers making love, and Kashima asks why. Shurikawa wanted to fulfill every desire of Kashima as she didn't want to break up with him. Kashima asks her to relax and tells her that he will not break up with her. He reassures her that he likes her very much. Since they weren't making love tonight, Shurikawa asks Kashima to hug her, and they hug each other. The date ends, and they had a great one-month anniversary. Shurikawa wants to have a similar second-month anniversary with Kashima, and Kashima feels the same. As Kashima returns home, Nicole visits him and offers food to him. Nicole asks Kashima if Shurikawa texts him during the night, and Kashima replies with a yes. Nicole asks Kashima if it is annoying, and Kashima tells her that he really likes Shurikawa texting him, and Nicole becomes happy. Nicole tells Kashima that Shurikawa never made it to three months in her relationship. She either broke up after one month or before three months in her previous relationships, and this is like a curse for her. Kashima tells Nicole that he will break this curse and never leave her. Nicole becomes really happy hearing this, and Kashima heads home. Kashima gets a call from Kuroz's number, but it was Shurikawa on the phone. She tells Kashima that she started talking with Kuroz and tells him to visit her at school during the night. Kashima goes to the school and meets Shurikawa. Shurikawa looks at Kashima and tells him that she wants to make love with him. She comes near Kashima and hugs him. Kashima realizes that the girl he is hugging isn't Shurikawa. She wasn't Shurikawa, she was Kuro's, and she asks Kashima to make love with him. She confesses her feelings, and Kashima tells her that he is with Shurikawa and will never cheat on her. Making love probably won't be good for her either. They sit on a park bench, and Kashima feels awkward. Kuro starts to cry and tells him that she regrets rejecting him in high school. Kashima doesn't know how he should react and stays quiet. He goes to school the next day, where everyone is talking about Kashima and Kuro's. The picture of Kashima and Kuro sitting together was spread everywhere in school. Kashima goes to a classroom and asks Kuro's about this. Kuro's denies spreading the rumors this time. She tells Kashima that she would never go that far. She asks Kashima to block her and decides to never see him again. As they were walking out, Shurikawa and Nicole arrive there. Shurikawa starts to cry and runs away. She dropped her phone, and it was broken. Kashima tried picking it up, but Nicole snatched it. She slapped Kashima and told him not to approach Shurikawa again. Kashima became really depressed. He never saw Shurikawa in school after that day. He texted her multiple times, but she never responded to his text. He tried to visit her at her home, but that didn't work out as well. Kashima's friends were on a beach and they send Shurikawa's photo with another man to Kashima. Kashima runs out of the class and goes to the given location by train. He reaches the location and sees Shurikawa there with Nicole. She was with her uncle, Mao, and was trying to click pictures with him. Kashima approaches her and apologizes for hurting her feelings, and Nicole scolds him. Kashima tries to explain himself, but Nicole doesn't want to listen. Soon after, Nicole leaves, and Kashima gets the opportunity to talk with Shurikawa. He explains everything that happened between them, and Shurikawa rests assured. Shurikawa knew that Kashima would never cheat on her and wasn't worried. Shurikawa's phone was broken. So she couldn't respond to his text. She gave her phone to a repair center to repair it, but it was taking too much time. Before her phone was repaired, Kashima himself came there to give her a visit. Shurikawa was really happy and the misunderstanding was settled. As everything was settled, Shurikawa takes Kashima to her granny's house. Granny Seo was the mother of Shurikawa's mother. Shurikawa lived with her dad, so she didn't get the opportunity to visit her mom, but she visited Granny Seo often. Shurikawa asks Kashima to stay with her on the beach for one month. They plan to do part-time jobs in the day and enjoy their free time together, and the love story continues. Shurikawa wakes up Kashima in his bed, and they work as waiters at their uncle's shop. As they work, two boys approach Shurikawa and hit on her. They force Shurikawa to choose one of them, and Kashima interrupts. Shurikawa tells them that she will choose Kashima over them, and they leave. Shurikawa is mad at those guys, and Kashima calms her down. Kashima was studying hard to get into college. Nicole was doing the same, but Shurikawa didn't know what she should do next. She tells Kashima that she wants to build a happy family with lots of kids. Back home, 
Kashima learns that Shirakawa was trying to make a meat and potato dish. They were out of potatoes, so Kashima goes to the grocery store with her to get some. They bring back some potatoes and make the dish together. Kuros's mom tells her that Granny Seiya wants her in the beach house. Learning that Kashima is also there, she decides not to go there. Shirakawa knows that Kuros is trying to avoid her and feels bad. With all the differences in their personalities, Shirakawa still likes Runa very much and wants to spend time with her as friends. Mao brings back Shirakawa's phone. It was ready to be used again, and she makes a video with Kashima. Uncle Mao gives Kashima his pay and tells him to buy a gift for Shirakawa with that money. Kashima agrees and goes to the market to find the perfect gift. Shirakawa dresses up for the festival, and they visit it together. It was their two-month anniversary today and Kashima does all sorts of things with Shirakawa at the festival. As they walk together and share a beautiful moment, Kashima gifts her a moonstone, and Shirakawa becomes really happy. Later, both of them gaze at the fireworks and enjoy each other's company. Shirakawa goes to school and sees Kuros. She tries to talk to her, but Kuros walks away. Kashima tells his two friends Ajichi and Nishi about his plan to surprise Shirakawa. He plans a survivor game with the girls. Shirakawa called Tanakita Sensei for help as she didn't have any experience in survival games. The survivor game begins and Kashima gets shot while protecting Shirakawa. The game continues for a while until one team is defeated. The group goes to a cafe to grab a meal. Nishi was kind of liking Nicole, and Ajiki was trying to go for Tanakita. Nicole was single, but she still liked her ex from 8th grade. He was very cool in her opinion. After some talk, they all leave, and Shirakawa was alone with Kashima. They decide to go on a date. They kiss at the Ferris wheel and end their date. Shirakawa expresses happiness at being with Kashima, and Kashima felt the same. Kashima decides to study hard and be a man worthy of dating Shirakawa. Kashima goes to cram school, and Kuros was at the same class with him. He sees Kuros and sneaks out of the class, where he meets a guy named Sakia. They both go to a cafe and talk about Kuros. Kashima explains that Kuros is the girl who rejected him before, and Shirakawa is worried regarding his relationship with him. In order to make Shirakawa feel secure, he wants to avoid her. Sakia understands this and decides to help Kashima. He will now be telling Kashima about Kuros's location to help him avoid her. Moreover, he tells Kashima that he should study without being distracted, and Kashima agrees. Sports festival and culture festival were coming nearer, and the committee was looking for volunteers. Maria alone decides to take the job, and Shirakawa decides to join her. Following Shirakawa, Tanakita decides to join, and Kashima joins as well. He suggests letting Ajiki help, and Ajiki also joins in. Kashima decides to create an opportunity for Shirakawa to talk with Kuros. He proposes to discuss the pamphlets for the culture festival. Sakia meets with Kashima and shares about his high school story. He was not so popular back then and didn't look so good. A girl met him and suggested him to change his hairstyle. He got really popular after that and dumped her. Scene shifts to the classroom where Kashima again discusses about pamphlets with Shirakawa and Kuros. They still can't choose the right pamphlet for the festival. The teacher tells Kashima that they need to decide on it soon, and Kashima promises to get it done. He returns to his home and meets Kuros in the train station. Kuros opens up about her feelings and tells Kashima that she likes Shirakawa and wants to be friends with her. Kashima now knows that both of the girls like each other. They are just too awkward to it. Kashima mistakenly slips, and his prep school book falls down. Kuros now knows that Kashima goes to prep school and has been hiding from her. Kashima tells Shirakawa how Kuros feels from his phone. The sports day arrives and Kashima cheers for Shirakawa, and she wins the race. They then run together and win another race. Meanwhile, Kuros dresses up as a cheerleader and goes to the ground. Her mom was there, and she was talking with Shirakawa. Kuros sees this and feels bad. She runs to the rooftop, and Kashima follows her. Kuros tells Kashima that she isn't a good sister. She was jealous when her mom talked with Shirakawa. Kashima tries to be nice with her, but Kuros tells him to not care about her and leave her alone else she will catch feelings for him. Shirakawa overhears this and walks downstairs. Two pamphlets were prepared for the next festival. Shirakawa liked one and Kuros liked another one. Kashima basically had to choose between Shirakawa's and Kuros's pamphlets, and he chose Kuros's. Shirakawa is upset. She tells Kashima that he might be a better match with Kuros.
She heard about Kuros liking him earlier and was feeling bad. She tells him that she will try not to text him for a while and runs away. Kuros thinks that Kashima messed up by telling the truth and should have sided with Shirakawa earlier. She remembers her childhood with Shirakawa and wants the best for her sister. Kashima tries talking with Shirakawa but she avoids him. Nikol tells him that she is disappointed in him. Kashima is confused and walks towards his home, where Tanakita approaches him. She tells Kashima that Shirakawa might have a sugar daddy. Kashima becomes surprised and asks about it. Tanakita tells him that she saw Shirakawa with a very tall guy earlier, and she was carrying a very expensive bag. She thinks that the guy brought it for her. Kashima asks Sakia for help regarding this. Tanakita recognizes him and tells Kashima that he was the one walking with Shirakawa earlier. Sakia explains that he is Nicole's ex. Shirakawa approached him earlier and wanted to surprise Nicole by making Sakia talk with her. Nicole was the one who changed Sakia during high school and Sakia dumped her. He feels too guilty to meet her now. He dumped her for no reason and can't ask for forgiveness now. Kashima tells him that he can still correct his mistake. He suggests Sakia talk with Nicole as she still thinks about him. Some guys were hitting on Shirakawa and Nicole. Kashima hurries up and saves Shirakawa. The boys gain up on Nicole, and Sakia arrives there. He chases them away by saying Nicole is his girlfriend. She hugs him and starts to cry. Ejiki confesses to Tanakita, and she rejects him. She tells him that no one can gain true feelings just by their looks. They need to know the person first. They haven't known each other for long. She makes a joke out of his confession and walks away. Shirakawa tells Ajichi about Tanakita's seriousness regarding relationships and asks him to forgive her. Kashima hasn't solved everything with Shirakawa yet. He goes to the classroom in search of Shirakawa and doesn't find her. He meets her at the rooftop and she explains how she met Sakia and was just trying to get him to talk with Nicole. She wasn't successful and Kashima made it possible. She thanks Kashima and things finally get better between them. Shirakawa and Kashima visit a park during the break of Kashima's prep classes. They talk about Nicole and Sakia. They will be going on a date soon and Nicole is planning to make a move. Meanwhile, Ajiki was heartbroken after that rejection and is gaming all night. Back in school, Nicole approaches the girls' group and tells them that she got rejected. Kashima asks Sakaya why he rejected Nicole, where Sakaya tells him that they shouldn't be dating during their college years. It would just hamper their studies, and they will mess up their exams. Sakaya wants to focus on his studies right now. The relationship between Kashima and Shirakawa has also been awkward recently. They don't talk much, and Shirakawa is feeling a distance between them. Kashima walks home with Kuros. He tells her that they shouldn't contact each other anymore. He wanted to have an exclusive relationship with Shirakawa, and Kuros respects his feelings. Kashima calls Shirakawa and yells Kuros's name. Kuros was harassed, and Kashima saved her. But due to this, Shirakawa learned that Kashima was with Kuros at the time. Kuros tells the police officer that she lost her earrings, but everything else was safe. Shirakawa meets Kashima, and he explains the situation to her. Shirakawa initiates a breakup, and they share an emotional moment, remembering all the things they did together. Kashima cries and tells her that he doesn't want to break up, and Shirakawa feels the same. She doesn't want Kashima to hate her, so she wanted to maintain distance. Kashima reassures her and tells her that he will never hate her. Shirakawa talks about her feelings for Kuros again. She tells Kashima that they shared a matching ear. Shirakawa kept it, but she thinks Kuros didn't. Kashima remembers Kuros talking about the lost earring earlier. They search for that earring and find it. Back in class, Shirakawa reveals that Kuros is her sister to everyone in the classroom and returns her earring. They hug each other and patch things up. It's Christmas Day tomorrow, and Shirakawa wants to do something special on Christmas Eve. Since things got better with Kuros and Shirakawa, they planned to set up their parents to sit and have dinner together. They wanted to have a family dinner together like they used to. She asks Kashima to join them as she wants to introduce him to her family, and he becomes quite nervous about it. Ajichi comes to the classroom and he lost some weight. He looked really attractive, and Tanakita regrets rejecting. Ajichi looked like her dream boyfriend. Nicole suggests her to ask Ajichi out again, but Tanakita doesn't want to make fun of herself by asking the guy out whom she insulted and rejected earlier. Meanwhile, Nishi proposes to Nicole, and Nicole rejects him, telling him that she has a boyfriend. Kashima overhears this and feels bad for both of them. Tests were coming nearer, and Kashima needed to study. 
He had to meet Shirakawa's parents on the day. He goes to the cafe with Shirakawa. Shirakawa's mom and Kuros were already there. They reveal that their dad will be there as well. Dad arrives, but he brought another woman with him. He was planning to get remarried, and this broke Shirakawa's heart. The plan was cancelled. Kashima escorts Shirakawa to her home, and she tries to be intimate with him. She seduces Kashima, but he doesn't want to take advantage of her. He holds back and notices that she has a fever. He decides to spend the night there and take care of her. Meanwhile, Nishi decides to ask Nicole out again, but misses his chance as she runs away. She meets Sikeya and tells him that she will wait until the exams and runs back out. Sikeya meets her and gives her his scarf. Nishi sees this and feels bad. In the morning, Shirakawa finally feels better, and she is happy that she got the chance to spend her Christmas morning with Kashima. He gives her a ring that matches her ear. Shirakawa talks with Nicole and explains that her love for Kashima has increased a lot, and she wants to spend the rest of her life with him.